Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 34. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are off to another club. And today, this is going to be the Nissan only club. Uh, it is a Japanese club. But the only Japanese cars in this game is the Nissan R34. And this, the Nissan uh, 350Z. Uh, but we have the Arch Power Tune or something like that. The Nismo version. Uh, so we're going to drive this as well as the R34. I think we'll do the R34, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. The R34 first because it is um, faster. Slower. The R34 is slower than this apparently. So we're going to go for that one and then we'll go for a different one. But this is a fancy looking club. Oh no, there's cops there. Quick. <laughs> Don't want to get caught by them today. Look at that though. Very nice looking car. Uh, so yeah, the R-Tune power is the top one. So we're going to go for the R34 first. Um, how do we swap? Here we go. So uh, we are starting off going against Kaze Neko. Uh, so this is the Nissan 350Z Coupe. Then it's the Nismo S-Tune. Then we've got a Skyline GTR R34. Then the R-Tune. And then the R34 Again, and then an Artune Power. Let's do this. I do really like uh, the Skylines. Very nice. Listen to the sound of that engine, though. Well, we're going to be driving the Skyline first of all. Let's go. 3.6 miles for this race. Very nice. That's a good distance. Okay, here we go. Nice. Oh, this drum and bass is kicking in big time right now. Come on, come on, come on. Very nice. Turn left, turn left, turn, turn. Nice. Bum bum ba da ba da ba bum 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 ba da ba da ba bum bum bum. Awesome. Right, let's go. Oh, 0.8 miles left. Very nice. Careful. There we go. Awesome. And here is the finish line. Come on, come on, come on. This has taken longer than I was expecting this race. Though, to be fair, they are like slower skylines and stuff like that. But two minutes and five seconds, that's a very good time. Let's go. Decent. Right, next car that we are going up against is the Nissan 350Z S-Tune Nismo. Let's go. Nice. Awesome. Oh, that car's in blue. Very nice. 
and we're off. So uh, I think the difference between the S-Tune and the R-Tune is the R-Tune's got a much larger wing on the back. Uh, and the R-Tune power just has extra performance on top of the R-Tune. But uh, that was a cool thing about the uh, 350Z is you could upgrade it and it actually did like customization. There was visual customization in this game. Just wasn't much. In fact, there was barely any at all, really, when you think about it. The fact, though, that you could do the entire of D-Class and the entire of C-Class events with one car was pretty cool as well. Um, you could also do that with the Mercedes, but the Mercedes was very tricky to drive, as we found out early on. But we found that out pretty soon, so it's not too much of a problem. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, very nice. Nice, finished first. Very good. 3,375 credits. That's very good. So far, we haven't had too many problems with recording this game as well. Uh, it's sort of all of the sessions have come out really nice and really clean. Uh, but next up, another Skyline, the R34 GTR. Nice. Right, let's go. Meow. Five miles for this race. This is actually quite a long one. Oh, weaving in and out between the traffic. Very nice. Okay. We're nearly halfway through this race. After this corner, I think we'll be about halfway. Yeah, there we go. About halfway now. It's very good. I really like coming back and driving like older cars. And one thing I want to see in sort of the late, the new test drive that's coming out is not having every single race being just like, oh yeah, you go up in classes and that's it. I like that structure, it's a good structure, but I feel like they could sort of make it more fun if they had it bring it back down a notch as it went up. So you would then get a higher up championship that would have slower cars. So yes, your car, say for example you will start a championship style at 50,000, you then go up, there are 100,000, right, you've got D class, like I'm using class as an example, and then you go to like the next one, 150,000, but you're back down to E-Class again. And then you've got another one that's higher up alongside that. Things like that. Championships like that. Perfect. Because that way you're mixing up the events and the championships and the cars that you have to use. You're not just going up and up all the time. Like, you'll be going up in general, but you'll still be brought back down to reality every so often. That's sort of the what I like about games that do that, especially things like Forza, they do do a very good job of that. Horizon doesn't. You can just take whatever you want. That's kind of annoying. But there we go. That is the third race done with that. We're going to shift on to uh, the uh, Nismo now, the Artune power for the next few. So let's go. First off is the uh, 350Z R-Tune, just the normal one now. Right, let's do this. 
And we're off. I want to actually slow down a little bit and see. Yeah, so we've got exactly the same wing and exactly the same sort of stuff. Just this one's slightly more powerful than that version. Nice. Getting that slipstream in. Oh, no, not good. Oh, jeez. I crashed, and at the same time, a car horn went off outside of my window. That was really bad timing. I did not like that one bit. Uh, we've we've ruined this. I shouldn't have slowed down at the start. I can't even see their name badge. Wow. They're going to get to corners though. And we're going to be able to just go like... Oh no, we can't. Oh, I'm going to get off-road penalty. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, I crashed off at the end as well. That was... Terrible race. Absolutely terrible. Oh, listen to that. Okay, let's go. This time, this is the one. The fact is, I tried to avoid this car because I know I drove this car in when I was younger. But I feel like we need to sort of mix stuff up, so that's why I picked it. At least this time when I crashed, uh, didn't have a car horn in my ear. Beep. All right. Very nice. First place, awesome. 7,000 credits, thank you very much. That went very nicely. Right, next up is the Skyline R34. We're gonna be driving this thing again. Let's go. Right, here we go. Come on, Skyline. Wait, why am I chipping the Skyline on? Come on, 350Z, R-Tune power. It doesn't work like that. It works with the Skyline, but not, <laughs> not any other car. What are you doing? That serves you right for getting in my way. Try and get that slipstream. Yeah, get out of my way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Oh! I think as well, uh, I did read something card that if you go like this and turn it off, your points go up really quick. And if you turn it on to like two, it goes up really slow. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't drive with TCS on. Two. Not at all. Not a chance. Uh, that's now taken... At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Can you not, like, put the windows down in this car? 
Oh, that's a shame. Come on, let's get this done. We're nearly done with it. And then we don't have to worry about this club again. I didn't realize there were actually so many clubs. I thought there was like 20. I didn't realize there was 34. Uh, so, yeah, do, having to mass grind them out now so that I can structure these videos a little bit better. But yes, I think we've just gone clubs crazy the past few episodes. Right, let's have a look. Right, next up is the Nismo Artune Power. Let's do this. Here we go. It's blue versus orange. Blue's gonna win though. Blue always wins. When does blue not win? Haha! <laughs> See, told ya. Absolutely mandatory that blue has to crash. Very nice. Oh no. Okay. Try and get back on. Try and get back on. Very nice. Okay. Very nice recovery there. Turn left. Turn left. Down here. And we're across the finish line. Very nice. Congratulations. Your next vehicle upgrade is... Free. 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 No cost whatsoever. Awesome. I got a free upgrade and you didn't get one. Awesome. Right, that is that done. Let's go on to the next club. I don't even know what it's going to be yet. Right, so we are on our way to a club where we can only drive coupe cars. And go against coupe cars. So, let's make our way there now. I'm sort of doing uh, the sort of last bit of the trip just to um, add a little bit of length to the videos because I'm worried that they're going to be a tad bit short. So, uh, yeah. I've now got two cop cars chasing me for uh, some unknown reason. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Haha, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> He's gone. Your He's just gone. Oh, uh, that was funny. I think I am definitely going down the wrong way of the road, though. Don't know what tells me that. Just something tells me I'm going the wrong way. Oh, and now I've got cops chasing me that can't even see me. What? Wow, this game is just like, wow. Obviously, they're not using genuine line of sight. I think they're just using... If you can see the cop on the minimap, it can see you. Logic. Which is understandable. Especially for a game of this age. Can't really expect it to have, like, fancy stuff that's like... Oh, yeah, that directly can see you. Here we go, though. We are here at Auto Club Hawaii, which is not actually the name of the club, but it's just the name of like every single club building in this game. But here we go, coupes. Let's have a look and see what vehicles are allowed that we can drive. We can drive the Gallardo. That is cool. 
Uh, what cards are there? So you got the Murchielago, so we are definitely gonna have to get the Gallardo out. Um, I think for the first one we could actually take the Nismo Artune then for the first three. Or shall we take the DB9? We'll take the DB9. We'll go DB9 and then Lamborghini. Let's go. So we're starting off with the Audi TT Quattro Sport for this one. Right, let's go. Right, here we go. Oh, Martin, stay back. We've got six mile race here. Come on, come on. Nice. Awesome. Perfect. I think this is the sixth club of today. Um, and I've got two more to do after this. So, result. Do, 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 do. Ah, uh, come on. Keep it on the road. Very nice. Thank you. Perfect. We've done 367 miles in this Aston Martin. It's ridiculous. And we've done two miles so far. And a minute 20. I have a feeling this is going to take a while with the Aston. Something tells me it might take a while. But uh, we will be getting the Gallardo out. Don't you worry. The Gallardo is 1000% making an appearance. Oh no, it's not down this road again. Ugh. Alright, nice. Where's the two miles? Here we go, two miles. Awesome. And two minute twenty. I don't think it's gonna take much longer though, because now we can pick up speed with the Aston. Brilliant. I still can't believe we've done like over like six videos with this, where it's just been the only car we've driven. I cannot believe that. That is unbelievable. All right, we've hit three minutes now and we can just see the blue finish line. Can I go like over the edge? Not quite. Would have been pretty cool though, if it just went flying over. I uh, imagine if we failed it as well. That would have been a big rip moment. Right, so we are now going like for like, Aston Martin DB9 against the DB9. Let's go. And we've only got coupes as well. Right, let's go. 371 miles driven in this car. Uh, this is a 3.1 mile race, so it shouldn't take too long. Aston v Aston. Oh, watch it, careful. Alright. 
There we go, nice. Got quite a few of these uh, challenges done. We just jumped over a car there. That was impressive. That was really cool. I still don't get why they've like mapped out gas stations and stuff like that in this game. It's a very weird thing to add. Especially when you think of like a developer's perspective. No one would ever notice that there's no gas stations. So like why would you map them in the game? Especially because I only think there's that one gas station. I don't haven't seen any more in this map. But, fair enough. I mean, if they want to add them, they can add them. At the end of the day, these games are not like... I mean, they are, are like entertainment, but they're also artwork. So... You could say it's that way. They're doing it deliberately. But there we go. 1 minute 53.137. I can't speak. Very nice. Right, next up is the Nissan 350Z Nismo. Let's do this. I know the Nismo is quite a fast car, so uh, hopefully it should be pretty easy to to beat. Let's hope anyways. We all know what hoping does in this game. You end up crashing. Oh, please get me a win. Crash. It's like mandatory. That is the retail estate there. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Come on, very nice. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Turn around there, perfect. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Oh, bit of off-road penalty there as well. Cutting the corners. All right, now is the time where we got to pick up speed. Oh, look at that airtime. 466 points. That's a massive amount of points for airtime. There's the gas station again. Come on, come on. There's a helicopter going above my house right now. Oh no, not great. There we go, recovered very nicely. At the next intersection, turn left. Oh, careful. Very nice. Right, here we go. Well, the finish line coming up. And there we go. Right. How many more have we got left to do? Right, so we've got to now swap into the Lamborghini. Otherwise, we've got no chance beating these cars. Can guarantee you that. 
Um, and we are going to be going against the Dodge Viper SRT first of all. Here we go. Yellow. Interesting, okay. It's not a usual choice of colour for a Dodge. But, uh, I mean, if you like it, you like it. Oh my gosh, this is going quick. And we're about to hit 100 miles in the Lamborghini as well. It's very interesting though. We did end up driving the um, Lamborghini more than the Ford. And I was mentioning how we had driven the Ford quite a lot. And yet we've driven the Lamborghini more than it. That's very weird. Why was I mentioning that? Oh well. There's the finish line anyways. Didn't take too long to get there. Very nice. 58 seconds. Coolio. Right, next up is the Lamborghini Murcielago. Let's go. It's going to be the big... Actually, what was first? Was it the... It was the Murcielago first. But the Gallardo didn't last as long as the Murcielago. Yes. Okay, cool. I think that's it. So uh, I don't actually know which one is the older car, whether the Murcielago is older or the Gallardo. Oh, wow. We're going to beat the Murcielago anyways. You ain't gonna stand a chance. Stupid, I ain't gonna let you get the chance. Careful. Nice. Oh, look at that airtime. Wow. Speeding through here. Oh, might want to slow down. There we go. Nice. Bum, bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, ba, ba, da, dum, bum, bum, ba, dum. Perfect. Oh, careful. Come on. At the next intersection, turn right. Nice. Look at that, the speed that this thing goes at. The Merchilar goes miles behind. Oh, okay, maybe not quite miles behind. But definitely some fair distance behind us. Good, here we go. Cross the line. Two minutes and 11 seconds, that's very good. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Awesome. Right, next up is the Volkswagen W12 Coupe. And we're going against Wolfgang. Awesome. Hopefully we can get a good result out of this race. Um, the W12 I know is very fast, and very powerful. But hopefully the Gallardo can keep up. 
one and go. Oh, the W12 getting a lot of speed from the start, but we knocked him into the grass there. Let's go. Oh no! Told me turn left way too late. But Wolfgang's gotten stuck. Okay, um. I'll take the win then. Wolfgang's gotten unstuck, but way too late. I wasn't paying attention to the minimap, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh no, the car's gone. You've missed the junction. That's fine. We're miles ahead now. I don't have any worries about him catching up. Oh. Look at my Lamborghini with the flashy lights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Oh, no. No, 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 no. The W12's catching up. Oh, shit. Turn left. Come on, come on. Oh, crap. How did that catch up so quick? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. And there we go. Across the finish line. Congratulations. Your next vehicle upgrade is free. There we go. We're going to hit a million credits by the end of this. By the end of the next two clubs for today. We're going to hit a million. No doubt about it. But here we go. We're now the president of Club Coupe de Ville. We beat them all. Ta -da. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>